The driver in the oncoming lane to the left blatantly passed a solid red light, plowing into the white SUV and then the camera. He totaled two vehicles and was at fault for the collisions. I hope that distraction was worth it. The Navy sedan driver was clearly distracted and blew past a red light, T-boning oncoming traffic. The camera stopped to provide footage to the officers and people involved. The semi-truck driver claims he hit a patch of black ice, which caused him to lose control and slam into multiple vehicles. This is a great example as to why you should drive with extra caution on icy roads. Do you buy his story? Let me know what you think down below. The camera had a yield turn, whereas the other driver ran a very late yellow. Because of this, insurance ruled this 50-50. Do you think this was fair? Let me know what you think down below. Due to the glare, it's hard to tell who really was at fault. However, the camera provided footage to everyone involved as well as the police. Who do you think is at fault? Let me know your thoughts down below. No way. DDS, DDS TV boy, yo let's go, ah. I'm gonna go straight. The driver tried to blatantly turn at a solid red light right in front of a cop. The karma cop wasn't having any of it and dished up some instant justice. DDS TV boy, indeed. Come on, it wouldn't be a DDS video without a cut through crash. The Honda driver was unlicensed and uninsured. The unfortunate part was that the camera had his car for only two months. Just when you thought you could make it another DDS episode without a cut-through crash, this happens. Like I always say, avoid cut-throughs at all costs. It's never worth the risk. Just take a right turn, do a legal U-turn ahead, and save yourself the trouble. The sedan driver was distracted and blew past a red light, t-boning oncoming traffic and causing the oncoming car to flip and an inevitable three-way collision. The sedan driver was sighted and at fault. The camera unfortunately was a victim of a hit and run. The Tahoe driver blindly reversed and rammed into the camera's parked car while he was shopping. Thanks to dashcam footage, he was able to capture the incident and get license plate numbers. Thankfully, his insurance did take care of him.
The van driver did run a red light, but the camera should not have accelerated like that either. This could have been easily preventable. Both drivers were found 50-50 at fault. Was this a fair ruling? Let me know your thoughts down below. Turning Chevy driver thought it was clear to go, but failed to notice the semi-truck. Do you think the semi-truck was invisible to the Chevy driver? Let me know what you think down below. You're merging into the highway, either speed up or slow down. Do not match the speed of the vehicle next to you. It never ends well. The turning driver was blinded by the red SUV and dangerously proceeded, causing the white coupe driver to slam into him. The cop that arrived cited the turning driver. The camera circled back and provided footage. The Volkswagen driver was at fault as they dangerously made a U-turn and then sideswiped the Mustang. This was a head-on collision between a semi-truck and a Ford truck. The Ford truck driver was at clear fault. Kudos to Luke, the camera, for pulling over and running to assist. The camera was driving below the speed limit since he was in a construction zone with workers present. The driver behind thought he was too important to slow down and blew past the camera. The karma cop dished up some instant karma. The camera admits he had the wrong tires for this occasion and was in a rush to watch the newest DDS upload. Despite losing his dignity on that day, his insurance did cover all the damages. The Chevy and Nissan drivers were distracted, which resulted in the rear-end collision. Had they been maintaining a safe following distance, this could have been easily prevented.